I ended up working for another person in Caltech, which is in Pasadena. And um, and she, my original boss, Sarah Church, she got me the job with her former advisor, a man by the name Andrew Lang. And Andrew was like, he was like this, I don't know, like, um, he was like an e a Steve Jobs or an Elon, you know, charismatic, handsome, uh, persuasive, idea man. Not the guy always in the lab, you know, doing everything, but understood the where things are going decades from now. And he had been involved in an experiment that actually measured the universe was flat very close to flat, um, along with uh, a preceding experiment done at Princeton by Lyman Page and, and other collaborators. So the shape of the universe is flat. The geometry of the universe is flat. How, how, how did he do that experiment? So he used the cosmic microwave background. And uh, so what I said is you have to look for triangles in the universe. So you can measure triangles on Earth. You, you can actually, it's hard to show uh, that the Earth is curved, but you can show the Earth is curved using triangles, mountaintops, et cetera, if you have an accurate enough protractor. Allegedly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God, you, you're like auto canceling. This is great. Um, I my ratings are going to go up, man. This is going to be great. Uh, take out the If you game. want actual science, go listen to Brian. If you want all of these conspiracy <laughs> theories or AKA the truth about flat earth, listen to him. Uh, so he, what he used were, was the following triangle. There are um, proto galaxy sized objects in the CMB. The cosmic microwave background has these patches. And so you can make a triangle out of the diameter of one of these uh, blobs of, of uh, primordial plasma, the soup that constitutes the early universe, which is hydrogen. It's very simple material. Understand hydrogen, electrons, and radiation. Very simple. Plasma physicist, sun, understand it. The diameter is two, you know, one base of the triangle, and then the distance to the Earth is the other two legs. So he measured, along with his colleagues at, at Caltech and, and University of Rome and that's other group at Princeton, measured uh, the angle... Uh, interior angle effectively very, very accurately and showed that it, it added up to 180 degrees. Can you localize accurately the patches in the CMB? Can, can you know like where they you could like trace them back location wise? You, you can know where they are, but more than that, there's so many of these patches. They're about one square degree on the sky. The sky, you may know, um, a sphere has about 44,000 square degrees in a sphere. So there's literally 44,000 of these size patches over which he could do these kind of measurements to build up very good statistics. That's not exactly how they do it or how they did it in this experiment called Boomerang, but they did measure very accurately the uh, what was called the first Doppler peak or acoustic peak in, in the plasma, the primordial plasma. That's fast. So um, the, the sphere has 44 approximately 44,000 square degrees. So to cover a sphere, that's a, that's a very kind of important data collection thing when you're sitting on a sphere and you're looking out into the, yeah. into the observable universe. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of patches to work with. Yeah. And in fact, a lot of the fast kind of algorithmic decomposition of spheres and, and, and machine learning in the early 2000s still used today was created out of this field by data analysts using this thing called hierarchical equal area uh, triangles called heel, heel, heel picks is what it's called. And so it's just stitch all of this stuff together and that's, uh, a, yeah. and, and stitch it together very accurately. Yeah get high statistical significance in order to reduce the statistical errors, very clean signal and uh, measurement device to reduce the systematic errors. Those are the two predominant uh, sources of error in any measurement. Those that can be improved by more and more measurement. You know, you take more and more measurements of this table, you'll get slightly better each time, but you only win as the number of, uh, the, the one over the square root of the number of measurements. But the square root of 44,000 is pretty big. So they were able to get a very accurate measurement. Again, it's not exactly how they did it. They also have to do a Fourier analysis decompose that, do a power spectrum, filtration, windows. There's a lot of work that goes into it. Image analysis, and then uh, comparing that with cosmological parameters, very simple model, just six different numbers that go into a model that made a prediction. And one of those is the geometry of the universe pops out. And that is the universe has zero spatial curvature. And that was called boomerang. 